Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, my name is Esther Mofris. Like I said, every Tuesday we'll be doing trade psychology. In trade psychology, I want to show you how the market is planned, how the market is always fixed, how the market is always ahead of you. So you have to pay attention. These are the videos that you should not miss. Every Tuesday, you are not supposed to miss. So at 1 p.m., I'll be posting a trade psychology on the chat. And at 7 p.m., I'll be talking to you on face-to-face -face on how the market sometimes it is planned for you to, I'm not saying to fail, but for you to lose money. So this is the, the chart. Uh, this was a chart that I got involved and that's when I was like, wow, wow. Like, how could they do this? When you open this chart, when you open this chart, many people would be waiting on this double bottom. Trust me, if you had not seen it, now I'm telling you, many people would be waiting on this double bottom. Why? Because they are thinking this market is an uptrend. I don't want to counter trade. I want to buy. So the initial goal I'll put here, the initial goal is to buy. So the first goal, first goal is to do what? Everyone first goal is to buy because buy. But things keep changing. Why? Because the market makers need you to start seeing it differently. So all along, you want to buy this market. You want to buy this market. All along, you want to buy. But they know if they buy this market, of course, many people will make money. So they'll play with your psychology a little bit. When the market breaks, if thousands of people wanted to buy, what do you think will happen? Will all those who wanted to buy want to buy anymore? No. Whenever there's break of structure, majority of people, they will shift from buying to selling. So the second now, the second goal of many people. So like people have now been divided. We had so many retail traders thinking we want to buy. Now so many retail traders want to sell. Everyone to want to sell. And now this is what makes everything now even much better because the market makers know if a thousand, let me give you with a hundred thousand. If 100,000 had placed a trade on buy, hoping the market will continue to buy, and now it has broken structure, now the number has split. So those who want to buy, they are 50,000. Those who want to sell, they are 50,000. So they don't know where they will go. They don't know, okay, the, 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 the banks still want that number to be smaller. Immediately the market breaks like this. Majority of the 50,000, will put a sell position. They will sell and they'll say, oh, to the next zone, I can see maybe they'll target another block or a support or something. So majority will sell and that's where they're taking their take profit. And you see, the banks are the only one knows who is right because they're the ones who control the market. So both of them can be right. Today we are doing trade psychology, so follow carefully. Both can be right and both can be wrong. So in this case, you don't know, will the buyers win, will the sellers win? And in this case, only the banks knows. So if the number, let's say for instance, of course, 70,000, 80,000 or 100,000 now sell. They, even those who are buying, they close their position, they sell because of break of structure. Already we have the majority wanting to sell. Anytime the majority want to sell, the bank says, okay, the number for sellers has increased than the, the buyers. So sellers are more than the buyers. What do they do? Do you think they will sell for us to make money? No, they will manipulate the market and the market will go against everyone who bought. And you see, they will not start it as a very strange way they will start smaller because they don't want all these people who had sold to close in position. Because remember, if it is a very massive candle, like a green candle like that, majority will be fearing and they will close that position. And again, there will be no liquidity to achieve what the banks want. So they will, they will not do it in a rush. They just print a green candle, but everyone who had put a stop loss of 150, below 150, they are stopped out. And majority, where do they put their stop loss? 
below 70 pips, below 50 pips, other put 30 pips. Everyone who had put their stop loss below 150 pips, they are stopped out. If now you're in my class, you're my student, I always teach BWA strategy. This strategy, I think is the best strategy in the world. Yeah, I think it's the best strategy in the world. So if you want to know that strategy, the only way you can know about this strategy is to subscribe to my, my mentorship. And the best thing, March class intake is now open. You can register. And the first thing I'll do is to teach you this strategy. You'll be making money where you are learning. This strategy is easy. My student know with this strategy, already there is no confusion. So this strategy removes the confusion and my students know it very well. The strategy removes the confusion. Now, let's go not to the strategy. Let's continue here. Let's focus. So anyone who wants to buy and they had, they, they were, they, anyone who had wanted to buy and they were the small majority, they are making money. They are small, um, uh, they are small people who are making money. Remember, those who are selling, it has not hit them that this market does not want to sell. So what they do, they add in more position. They will add in more position. They want to sell, they want on, on more position. Let me delete this one. So those, all those who are selling, they are mind. Psychology proves that they cannot say they want to exit. They don't see anything or anything that is making this market not sell. So what they do, they remove, they, they add more, more position. And as they add more position, remember they were just drawdown of 150 pips. Now they are drawdown of 310 pips. This is where accounts are blown. This is where massive drawdowns are done. This is where discouragement enters in. This is where now they wake up from that slumber they were in and they think this market is on a now train. This was just a fake breakout. Now all the sellers, and majority, they'll start viewing that the market was a fake breakout and it has been, uh, it is now buying. Do you know what they'll do? They will cancel that negative. They'll come and cancel that the negative they have. So let me remove this. They will cancel the negative. Remember they are in drawdown of like 350 pips. They'll cancel that negative and place a buy. So they'll place a buy and because they want to, to revenge trading, they will maybe target that high and they will do twice their lot size. So the risking will be a bit high. And now the numbers here, because banks knows the numbers now they shift. If, they, if it's only, let me see, if only 100K was selling and now the banks knew this 100K they will lose their money, we want to make, and only 20,000 were buying. Now everything will change. Those who are buying, they will shift. Buyers who bought, they, because there are 20,000, there are not many, majority will close their position because they're not even sure. Remember the buyers have this in mind. They're like, oh, this trade, I'm not sure. Because of the break of structure, it can still continue to sell. So majority of these 20,000 will close their position those buyers will close their position. Let's say maybe they will remain with 5K. So 15,000 panic, close their position. But what will happen to 100,000 that were selling? 80,000 of them, 80,000, 20,000 maybe they'll close with a loss and they agree. Among those 20,000, they won't close because they believe not a fake breakout, but 80,000, they will join the buy side. So we have 80,000 that are buying, 80K that are buying, and we have the, the 20,000 that were, were left selling. So if banks evaluate this, what do you think, guys, will happen? Will they keep buying and the 80,000 will benefit? No, they won't do that. So what they'll do, the market will, for some time, start selling. Now, guys, what you should understand is that if you're in my training, this is not how to trade the market. If you come in my mentorship program, I will always tell you, anytime you see a breakout of any sort, your mind should think like the 5%. You know one thing I love? They always say 5%, they're the ones that succeed. 
No problem because me and everyone who is in my mentorship, they belong to 5%. So if you have been watching my videos, if you're in my paid mentorship or not paid in my mentorship, call yourself the 5%. We are the 5%. Even if you're not, you have not paid me, even if you watch me for free on YouTube, you're the 5%. I believe the information that I give, I give and I will rescue you from the 95 to the 5%. So we are the 5% that have succeeded. So what I tell people to behave and mind and think like the 5% is when people are seeing break of structure, when people are seeing failed, uh, violated double bottom, what I want you to see, what I want you to see to remove confusion, see a channel. This is a channel, guys. That is a channel. And banks and market makers love playing with a channel. Why? A channel can make a double top inside. A channel can make a double bottom inside. So once you have this channel, and pay attention, once you have this channel, it is easier to see, oh, my channel got broken. If my channel got broken, I know the market might retest. And once it is done retest, we are dropping all this way. So if you treat this market as a channel, you won't be, oh, buying, selling. You will know this market is selling. And if it buys, it's just a retracement. Now, have you seen you have started getting in, uh, having a way to remove the confusion? Now your psychology is at least fine. So how I teach about the channel, you always target the half. And you know half is guaranteed and the rest is not. So half is always guaranteed. When it comes to completion of the TP2 is not guaranteed. That one is clear. So anytime you come and now start looking for sale on lower time frame, you can go to lower time frame and start looking for sale opportunity. And we want to sell this market. You want to sell and you either you use a WBB, whichever pattern you will use, whichever pattern you will use, as long as now the market has declared it will sell. If I flip to four hour, you'll see what I'm, I mean. Once you go to four hour, you can see uh, the market has very big momentum candle. Can you see? Very big momentum candle. If again, you apply BWA here, it is a good entry. So even if we enter here on lower time frame, if we enter because lower time frame, it's giving us a go ahead, a go ahead because BWA is confirmed and we are supposed to sell. If you sell this market, if you come here and sell this market, short position we are only targeting up to the tp1 that the one that is guaranteed and you see majority have started buying thinking oh we made a mistake this market is an uptrend oh these are fake breakout eighty thousand or just giving a number are buying and guys see what happens after that the market will range for some times but the market will continue buying and you can see tp1 is hit and followed by tp and followed by a green candle so either way the sellers that attempted to sell the first place change their mind they lose both ways they lose buying they will lose selling those who will survive <coughs> those who will survive in this trade are those who know the pattern the actual pattern the actual pattern was a sell, it was a channel, and it broke at support. And once the channel breaks at support, it will eventually sell up to TP1 that is guaranteed. Now, confusion kicks in because remember, once those who entered, they have lost so much money, they want now to, they are thinking, oh, I was right. I was selling this market all along and the market stopped me out. And they don't want to take to take to pay attention to see what is happening. They don't even know that this is TP1 that is guaranteed. The market may not, may never go to TP2 because TP1 is always guaranteed. They don't want to pay attention. So what they do, they'll come and say, oh, the market has now going down and now even given it a discounted price, I will sell up to the last TP. So they come and put short position and they sell here. And they think, oh, that's so many pips. What they don't understand is that you need, they think they'll get 400 pips. So for them, I don't know, 
term is they use stop loss. If they don't, they're in trouble. So at, at the moment when the market is at this point, the 5%, whoever I teach, whoever is under me, whoever is under my mentorship, either paid off, either paid off free. You already know that once TP1 is hit, stay away and look for any reversals and any reasons. And on daily, if I look on my left, guys, if you look on your left here, there's nothing, there's no red candle you can see. So if there's nothing you can see on daily, you need to go to lower time frame to see. Surely, does, will this market continue? And if it's continue, I have no business because TP2 is not guaranteed. But I need to see if it reverses what can make this market close up. You go to four hour. Remember, majority have already declared a buy. But when you go to four hour, see what do you get? Red candles. And red candles, they can make a possible double bottom. Guys. If you know how market is manipulated, not even manipulated, it is fixed and planned. And every candle that is printing has been planned. So already you have this possible double bottom. So remember, there are those who bought, who, who sold, thinking this market is sell. But on four hour, you can see clearly that the market has a double bottom. And you see, guys, that's a double bottom. And that is a half that the market reached. And then you can do this is the neckline let me let me change it for you that is the neckline guys so you have the neckline let's measure half from where the market is uh stopping on daily to our half so already you guys you know if i want to sell uh to buy i will be looking at the entry of this market and how do we look at the entry we look at the entry when the current resistance is broken. And you see, current resistance is broken. So when others are selling, when the 80,000 are selling, only 5,000, the 5%, that's why they are called 5%. They are buying because they have a reason to buy. You should know when to buy and when to sell. Don't sell because you just want to sell. Now, those who are selling, they are selling because they want to continue with the channel. Those who are buying, they are buying because the pattern is a possible double bottom and you're targeting up to the half. Half is there. So I will play quickly and you see what happened. So the market eventually reached, you can see it reached to a half. Let's see. So ranged, ranged, and the half was hit. Can you see, guys, our half was hit. So anyone who was waiting for this market to sell, double frustration double frustration again and then after that our half was broken immediately our half was broken what do you do you enter again you enter again there was a buy again so long position you buy again and then you target neckline and the neckline was hit so from the first place you entered to the half was the 200 pips from the half being broken, from the half being broken to the neckline was how many pips? Let me see. Was um, 296 pips. If you go to daily, there is nothing like a double bottom. And that's how the market is planned. That is, no, that anyone who sold, what happened? Anyone who sold, what happened? So let me clear this. This is what they had done. They knew this market will be a channel. They knew it will go on, on to only to the half. They knew they'll just make it to the half. I want to make it clear what they had done. They just played with your psychology, guys. So they made it sure they'll go at the half and then the market went up. So on daily, if you check daily, you will always ask yourself, why did this market stop here? What made, and I cannot see red candle. What you don't understand is that if you only you flipped on four hour, if you only flipped on four hour, we had a very good possible double bottom. And that possible double bottom, as you continued uh, playing, uh, waiting on it, they broke half, they broke half and eventually went to the neckline. So that is exactly what happened. So if you remained, on daily, the market would have bought and you'll never know why did it buy. 
you will never know. So initially, they wanted to buy this market, but they wanted to trap so many people. So if at all you don't understand what is happening in the chat, trade psychology is very easy. Just be out. Guys, this video, I know it is long, but you have learned something. Anytime you're trying to trade, always think two things. Who am I? Am I the 95% or am I the 5%? Always be the 5% and think outside the box. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye. Love.